What is going on everybody? This is Michael Williams from Cartoon Universe and today I have another miraculous theory for you guys. Of course, as you can tell by the title, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Peacock Miraculous Holder. As of right now, this is technically the Miraculous Holder we know the least about. Before I go any further, you should know that there will be some Season 2 spoilers as the show's creator has revealed some pretty big stuff at cons. So if you want to go into Season 2 completely surprised, then I would turn back now. How was I supposed to know about building credit? No one ever taught me about that. Okay, so recently the holder of the Peacock Miraculous was revealed, and this is what she looks like. However, it's not exactly easy to tell who this person is. Because unlike Ladybug or Cat Noir, this Miraculous holder actually has a good disguise. Wow! Amazing concept! I did a video on that subject that you should watch after this video. So, in order to crack down on who exactly the holder of the Peacock Miraculous is, we'll need to look at who has it. Well, Gabriel Gress has it locked away. It's been highly speculated that Gabriel's wife, slash Adrian's mother, was once the holder of this Miraculous, since it sits just in front of her picture in Gabriel's safe. This totally makes sense given her appearance. I could definitely see this being the case. However, there are a few things that are off. Firstly, it's heavily, heavily implied, especially with the Christmas special, that Mrs. Agrest is dead and has been dead for about a year. This leaves a few pretty big questions. For starters, we've never actually seen this miraculous holder, so this is technically a new character, the same way Ollie is Volpina and Chloe's Queen Bee are, in some respect, new characters. So how would this be Adrian's mom if she'll be showing up in a future episode? Well, one could make the case that this could very well be a flashback episode and a look into the relationship between Gabriel and his wife, Slack, Hawk Moth, and the Peacock Miraculous Holder. Assuming, of course, Gabriel is Hawk Moth, which, let's be honest, he almost definitely is. Like, let's be real here. But that's a whole nother video for another day. So yeah, it's totally possible that Mrs. Agress once was the Peacock Miraculous Holder and recently died, leaving Gabriel with the Miraculous. But this also leaves another question. Let's assume for a second that Gabriel is Hawk Moth, because let's be real. Why exactly would he keep the Peacock Miraculous locked up instead of use it? Because as it's been confirmed in the Origins episode, one is able to use more than one Miraculous at once. Given that using the Ladybug and Cat Miraculous in tandem will grant the user ultimate power. So what gives? Well, to be fair, we don't really know what powers are granted to whoever uses the Peacock Miraculous. It's possible that Gabriel is unable to tap into that power for whatever reason, or maybe that power just isn't useful for what he's trying to accomplish as Hawk Moth, which I highly doubt. There's also a possibility that he refuses to use that Miraculous out of respect for his wife, which, given the Christmas episode, would indeed fit with his character. Now, there's something else that was said at LA Comic Con that was very interesting. It was said that coming up in the show, there would be a big boss, a greater villain, someone who would become Hawk Moth's boss, and this person apparently has a peacock Kwame. I don't think this is referring to Mrs. Agress, seeing as she's dead, and the term greater villain heavily implies that this villain will be a bigger bad for the foreseeable future in this series, not just for a flashback. And I also don't think Mrs. Agress faked her own death, nor do I believe her being gone alludes to something other than her death. My reasoning for this is because her dying clearly seems to be the suggested plot point here, and it would kind of ruin the impact of Hawk Moth's presumed motives that are clearly driven by Mrs. Agrest if she turned out to really be alive this whole time, or something else entirely. Now I think somebody else is going to grab hold of that Peacock Kwame, but who would it be? What woman could have access to Gabriel's safe one way or another? Well, it actually could be Natalie. Sure, Natalie doesn't seem to be all that bad of a person, especially when it comes to Adrian's well-being, but there does seem to be an ever-present dark side to her, and ironically enough, the peacock can symbolize love and nurturing, which Natalie seems to do with Adrian, almost like a mother figure, which would be perfect symbolism because not only would she be somewhat filling the role of Adrian's mother, but also filling his mother's role as the holder of the peacock Kwame. Now, what would her motives be? I have no idea. It seems that she has felt disappointed in Gabriel's actions multiple times in the way that he's been known to treat Adrian. But other than that, we don't really know that much about her. But I think it's safe to say that her love for Adrian may very well serve as the cause for Natalie to take a darker turn, however that may happen. Another little piece of evidence for this is that so far, a lot of the Kwame's 
have been seen to have some opposite traits of their holders. For example, Clegg is a bit of a selfish troublemaker, whereas Adrian is a really selfless guy who tries to do his best for what's right. Marinette is a bit insecure with who she is at times, but Tiki always serves as her motivation and voice of reason. Nuru is really sweet, and Hawk Moth is not at all sweet. I don't remember any major differences between Master Fu and Waze, but that could be chalked up to years of experience on Master Fu's part and becoming the best version of itself, which happens to align more with Waze. Granted, we don't know the true extent of their dynamic just yet, so who knows. But this whole contrast between Kwame's and the Miraculous holders fits perfectly with Natalie and who was recently revealed to be the peacock Kwame, Dusu. Outside of really caring for Adrian, Natalie's largely stoic, even when she doesn't necessarily want to be. Whereas Dusu is shown to be an extremely emotional Kwame with a lot of a dynamics to her. And if that weren't enough, we can see that Chloe and Alia's color schemes perfectly match that of their soon-to-be Kwame's conveniently enough. Well, so does Natalie with her dark blue slash purplish hair mixed with red. This is something that I would be very excited to see happen, as it would add an interesting layer of dialogue between the characters. But what do you guys think? Could Natalie be the holder of the peacock Kwame? Could it be someone else? Let us know in the comments down below. Be sure to follow us, and as always, big shout out to our amazing patrons. If you'd like to help support the channel so we can continue to grow into greater forms of content, and you can get some pretty cool perks, please be sure to check out the link to our Patreon in the description below or at the end of the video. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I've been Michael Williams, you've been watching Cartoon Universe, and we will see you in the next video. Peace.